Carlos Ramirez, owner of NBS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey and Daytona, Florida. So I'm working on the next part of our video series on upgraded batteries for our Harley Davidsons and slingshots. So this is something that people have reached out to me and asked me to do a video on. So I finally had a chance to do it. It's extreme temperatures, lithium batteries and extreme temperatures. So um, to test these batteries, I took two lithiums and two sodium batteries and a stock battery and I put them in the freezer at the refrigerator in my house, let them sit for 24 hours to see what the voltage drop would be, and most importantly, what the loss from cranking amps would be. Lithium batteries have come a long way in the past few years, and there have been some new chemistry. So uh, the sodium batteries did way better in the lithium batteries at this test. So the sodium batteries dropped less than a quarter of a volt. Um, both the volt battery and the and the impact wiring solutions battery both dropped less than a quarter of a volt and when we put them back in the bike they cranked really strong the lithium batteries dropped a volt or two and they lost about half their cranking amps but you also have to realize in this test it was no charging it's important to remember that this was done battery sitting not on a charger the lithiums would have done better if they had been plugged in on a charger for anybody it's an extremely cold climate if you leave the battery on the charger that came with the battery, the battery will do just fine. If you cannot charge the battery where the bike is parked, then if you're running a lithium, not a sodium, I, I recommend if you're gonna be at zero degrees, negative temperatures, I recommend you take the battery off the bike and bring it inside. If it's in a garage and you have it plugged into a tender, all these batteries will do fine. If you have a sodium, well, this test just proved, even if the bike's not on a charger, the battery will do fine. It will not drop voltage. So check out my test results. Okay, we're at 12.4 on the factory Harley battery. Thirteen point two on the limitless. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the fridge. It's two forty four on Friday the twenty fourth. My wife's gonna wonder what the hell is going on. We'll check back in a few hours. See what the voltage drop is. Fully charged. Going in the freezer. All right, four hours in the freezer for limitless. And we're at 13.1. Factory battery after four hours is down to 11.8. Okay, it's been almost four hours for the sodium impact wiring solution battery and the voltage is beautiful at 14.6. Stock battery still holding at 11.8 and let's see how our lithium's holding up holding at 13.8 after eight hours we'll see it in the morning okay it's just over 15 degrees in the freezer it's closer to 18 degrees battery fresh from under the seat 12.29 here's our frozen battery 11.84 okay as soon as we put on the bike and turned the ignition on it dropped to under six volts and it won't even crank so no good for the stock battery impact wiring solutions 14.6, ignition on, 13.8, 14.1, perfect. Six hundred amp fine. Okay, 
give it 10 seconds. Recovered back to 13.8. You can see it's still freezing cold. After hitting it with a 600 amp load, after starting the bike. Being out of the freezer for 20 minutes, the battery's warmed up to 68 degrees. NA20 sodium battery going into the refrigerator in the freezer at 14.8 volts. We have the excess power. This battery has no BMS. Lithium. 13 volts on the excess power. So apparently sodium batteries love the cold weather because the Volt NA20 Sodium did just as well as the impact wireless. So we're at 1482 after being kept in the freezer for 24 hours. Battery is at 30 degrees right now. Now let's see how the excess power did. Excess power did well also. We're at 132 after being frozen for 24 hours. Uh, similar numbers to the limitless. So now let's throw them on the bike and see if each one of these batteries cracks, cranks the bike up. Okay, you can tell it's still frozen and starting to frost now. And a 20. No problem cranking up. Now we're gonna take it over to the load tester after Josh gives us a voltage reading. 13.95 after cranking. Beautiful. Not affected by the cold at all. Voltage is at 13. 1. No good. Excess power could not start the bike after being frozen. Let's see how it does on the load tester. I don't expect it to do well. Yep, dropped right down. Yeah, we have less than 600 cranking amps. I think it's less than that because it only takes about 400 to crank the bike. Okay, we're at 13.1 on the limitless. Amperage test for the limitless after being frozen. Bolts turning red, holding up really good. Not as much capacity as the non-frozen one, but still really good. <laughs> 